Hello everyone, today I'm going to review the HV-800 neckband uh, stereo Bluetooth headset. Uh, it's This is the generic uh, version of this uh, device. I've seen it uh, branded under several different names on Amazon, but I believe they're all the same because they all say that they are the HV-800. Uh, and I got this one from China. I ordered it uh, directly, not from Amazon, but it came from China. And uh, I paid under $8 for it. A problem with that being a, a, is that it took me a month to get it. Now, I've seen it, like I said, uh, branded otherwise or sold by different suppliers. And, you know, you can get it uh, uh, on a prime uh, shipment and uh, or under prime uh, and you can get it in two days as opposed to a month. But unfortunately, it's going to cost you more like 13 or $14. I'll put a link to the supplier that sent me this one and uh, other links to where you can get it through Prime and therefore get it, you know, uh, with two-day delivery. So let's get the, the uh, contents out of the package. And it's a pretty ge generic uh, vanilla, uh, vanilla um, package. Uh, we have a USB to micro USB uh, charging cord. Uh, we have the ear, rubber ear pieces, a uh, total of six, including the two on the headset. And that's nice, you got small ones, medium ones, and uh, large ones on it. And a uh, generic manual. Now I've looked over the manual already, and uh, you know, it's uh, pretty basic, but uh, I noticed right off the bat that it says HB800. Well, there used to be an HB800, so they must be selling the old, um, or sending the old, uh, what do you call it, manual with it. Um, but I, I check check the uh, actual uh, headset on every device that I paired it on, which is uh, four in total. It always shows up as HV800, and uh, you know the specs on the HV800 are what uh, Amazon says they are. Uh, here's the specs for the actual um, device itself. I don't know if I'm too close there or not, and. Pretty basic manual, really. You know what you expect from China. It's it's it does the job, but you know you figure it out pretty quickly what it, what all the features are, and the features are well, of course, it's a Bluetooth headset. It's stereo, but uh, it's got an on and off switch on the side right there, and that's you know basic. It turns it on and off, and you get the blue light on there. But you hear that? It also has a, a, a uh, vibrate function when you turn it on and when it pairs, which is really cool. It also vibrates when you uh, hook it up to your cell phone or your smartphone, in my case the Galaxy S4. It vibrates when you get a call and then you just hit the button and you can talk through the uh, headset. And it actually works really well as a, a wireless headset to your uh, telephone for making calls and for answering calls. So I was quite happy with that. Then we have a charging port, which is right there on the side. And it seems like all the electronics are on the uh, left side of the headset. Um, so you know, there's nothing on the other side. It's just basic there. But uh, there's your charging port. We have the uh, pause and uh, call answer button right there. It also is wrapped with a with an LED display on that. And that has two colors. It's blue and red. And it has there's a function for that. And I'll show you that in a minute. And we have a plus and minus rocker uh, switch on there. And that rocker switch will either increase your volume if you hold it down uh, or decrease it if you hold it down the other side. But if you just punch it once or uh, punch it on the other side, uh, it will actually go forward or backwards on your tracks uh, if, you're on, if your device supports that functionality. But, and my cell phone does and so does my tablet. So, uh, and as well as my uh, actually uh, Samsung Gear watch. And of course then you have your play button and pause button as well right there. So, functionality is pretty good, uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, I've tested out, uh, like I said, three or four different devices on this thing. And, uh, you know, one of the small things that I had was, uh, you know, range uh, on the headset. So, in other words, how far away from the actual source that's, uh, uh, you know, uh, broadcasting your, your signal, like your music, to it can you get without it uh, starting to crack up. Well, with my tablet, which is just a basic... Uh, Android tablet there. I, I got away. I got. I could get about you know 10 to 15 feet away from it, and and any further than that, it just breaks up and it's not even worth listening to. But uh, I could do maximum 15 with that. With my cell phone, I get five to eight feet with it, uh, which is plenty enough if you're just carrying the phone around to use it that way. So you know, no issue there. So it worked well. And with 
actually with my gear watch, my Samsung gear watch here, it, it actually worked the best with this, uh, believe it or not. But I think that's because of proximity. You're wearing your watch. It's only, you know, what, uh, three feet at the most away from, from your uh, neck. So, you know, uh, it's, the proximity is perfect. So it worked great right on my gear watch as well. So it paired with every device that I wanted it to pair with, uh, as well as I paired it with my uh, Windows 7 64-bit um, computer. And it's an HP with Bluetooth. And it works great there too. I mean, it, it actually, you know, uh, allows me to uh, listen to tunes or listen to my videos or my editing without actually having to uh, plug in a cable to my laptop, which is a great feature. All right. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is to test the um, battery life on this thing to see how long it will actually play. Uh, and I'm going to do the, the test at full blast, so the full volume here. And that's another thing I'll, I'll tell you about. The volume controls are, are, are for the headset. Um, they, they don't actually change the volume on your phone or on your device. You can actually crank the volume up all the way on, on the headset and the volume down on your device like your tablet or your phone uh, down to zero and get nothing out of it. Uh, but then again, you can also crank it all the way up on your device and get pretty loud output out of these. The audio output out of, out of this uh, headset is I, I would say quite good. I wouldn't say you know stellar. Uh, I think it's a bit lacking on the uh, Base side, but I find that that's kind of a uh, generic thing with Bluetooth so far every Bluetooth device I've uh, Tested has been somewhat lacking on base, but you can make up for that by uh, Boosting it on your device or on the mixer on your device. So next we're going to do the battery test and see how long that works. Four hours, six minutes on that battery test. I don't think you can get much better than that on one of these devices. Well, maybe you can, but, uh, you know, four hours is plenty enough time at full blast for me. Now, it would probably last longer if it wasn't on full blast, if you had it, a, you know, three quarters or whatever. Uh, you probably get a longer period of time of playing on it. Uh, now, it's kind of hard to determine what three quarters would be because, you know, the rocker switch doesn't really tell you. Um, you know, another nice feature on this thing is that it actually talks to you. Uh, so when you pair, it says pairing. When you turn it on and off, it says power on, power off. Uh, and when somebody gives you, somebody calls you, on your cell phone it actually announces the call number that's calling you and it's quite fast at doing it so you know it'll probably I don't know if that's a feature with my Samsung uh, Galaxy S4 or not but it's quite qu quick enough that if you recognize the phone number you just hit the button and go you don't even have to look at your phone number right but it does announce the phone call and it does announce the uh, uh, phone number that it's that it's coming through so that's kind of cool so my impression on this device is, is uh, you know very good now you know it's not a perfect device I wish the range was a little better but uh, you know for eight dollars you can't beat it I mean you, you know it's a wireless headset for your phone it's uh, it plays your um, it'll play your music it does you know everything advertised that it's supposed to do and it does it for four hours at full blast well excellent excellent uh, value at that point especially at eight dollars now you know, to get this for eight dollars, you got to wait a month. Of, you know, from the Chinese supplier. So, uh, I would source it a little bit more. I would pay thirteen, fourteen dollars for this, no problem at all. Um, you know, I think it's a good value. Uh, if you're looking for a high, high-end Bluetooth device, well, I wouldn't say this is it. But if you're looking for, you know, more than that, more than adequate uh, for, you know, for eight to fifteen dollars, you can't beat it. I think it's it's a great uh, value. So, you know, I recommend this. Uh, I'm using it. I've been using it every day since I got it and that was about five days ago and I'm quite happy with it with the results That's it for my video. Thank you very much for watching uh, If you like this video and it helped you out in some way do me a favor click on the like button right down here and uh, You know if you wish to subscribe to my channel just click on this link up here and that should subscribe you to the, the uh, Richard Lloyd channel or Richard Lloyd USA channel um, Okay again Thank you very much for your time and watching.